Good morning. How did you sleep? Yeah. Good girl, you must be getting hungry. I need some shorts. I don't have any pants on. <clears throat> and we got dirty laundry. And I apologize. <laughs> it's tiny home living. Give me a second. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Can you see my... No, in the reflection of the TV. We good. <laughs> Waking up on the side of the Trans Canada Highway here in Golden. Oh, wow. Just that stretch turned on the TENS machine. I'm very sore. If you don't know, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on so you never miss a Van Life Plus episode. But anyway, that horsing around I did yesterday. Definitely feeling it this morning, just like I knew I would. Uh, my shoulders, my arms, and my abs are just on fire. Uh, these are not muscles I usually use, so when I do, they tend to write angry letters. So I've got my TENS machine on my shoulders right now, and I'm actually just going to... Wait a second. There we go. Get this bad boy going. Hopefully loosen some stuff up before we got to hit the road. There we go. Shoulders are tough. They take a lot. Let's go. 20. Level 20. Wow. You know what? I'm in such discomfort right now trying to put my belt on in here. That's ill-advised. So let's feed the big fat pussy. Hello. Then we will step out of the tiny home on wheels to finish our attire for the day. Got it. Okay, I think we should have some food for you. What's on today's menu? We've got, boom. Ooh, turkey and salmon. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, that the good stuff? You betcha. Here you go, my dear. Start the day like we start every day. Feeding the kitty. Here you go. Ooh, that level 20 just kicked in the high gear. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. <laughs> People ask me, are you ever going to get a high top? <clears throat> it comes to mind on the odd occasion. I'm not going to lie. But also, in its own weird, unique way, this part of van life, which is such a small part, but when you like move into a small space like this and you start living more out in the open as... You do. Doing this, coming out your door and just wherever you might be, just to, you know, put your belt on. It's, it's a unique and fun little aspect of it. it. You know, it's maybe it's just me. It's probably just me. But I didn't do it before this lifestyle. <sighs> there we go. Okay. And excuse me, Penny, you're keeping the dirty laundry warm again. I appreciate that. Yeah, what we were wearing yesterday. All right, darling, I'll be right back. I think I have this all organized properly now in the sense that my laundry bag is once again... Yes, in the Irish Pirate Queen. There she is. And here goes our dirty laundry from the night before. Spoilers for a previous vlog. No ginch. I uh, was just wearing my swim shorts that I was wearing on the boat. So two articles of clothing deposited. You know what, the switch. You've been riding around in the Jeep for a while. Time to charge you up. All right. Oh, yeah, and the mosquitoes, they're still sleeping. Way better than it was when I pulled up last night. My goodness gracious. All right, here you hold that. I'm gonna get a power cable, okay? T minus two minutes and we on the road. Oh, forgot that I needed another clip from the plethora container that Cam sent me. Other one broke last night. I just noticed uh, the clips. I just noticed now they're all different sizes. So I was using a small one. That's a large one. Okay. Passenger window blocker. Bye bye. Oh, yo. You keeping a good eye on the switch? Yeah. The, oh, the plug-in's back there actually. Here. I'll put that back there. <sighs> Driver's side window blocker. Down. Oh, and let the rest of the world in. 
Oh, Penny, would you look at that? It's like we're at BC or something. The condensation on the window. You gonna jump up there? Do it. Just careful, your booty might get a little damp. Nailed it. All right, slide this back. Hold the curtain in place. Perfection. Oh. You know, I need to super glue it, but I really don't want to. This keeps bloody happening. The little end cap on the curtain track here pops off. And then of course, all of the little wheels come off as well. Super annoying. It only happened because I just, I just gave the curtain enough of an extra shove that it forced the end cap off. And honestly, I say I don't want to super glue it, but why not? Okay, where'd it go though? That's the next question. <sighs> oh, well, maybe, maybe this all just happened for a reason. Hang on, let's move the clip. It's down here where it's a little white like this, right? So it prevents the wheels from running off the end of the track, but I have no idea where it is now. So we're just gonna do this and maybe this will solve my problem. Don't have to super glue. I mean, I'm assuming with enough shoving, I could probably still yeah, no, see, even that's better. All right, paper clips for the win. Except now I'm, now I'm down a paper clip on that one side. <sighs> Hello, Grace, I just can't get enough of you this morning. Let's go into our plethora of clips. Grab ourselves another one. There we go. And now our curtain is double clipped. Perfect, look at us getting projects done first thing in the morning. How's that condensation, Penny? She doesn't give a shit. Big truck. <laughs> I actually just went back to Grace again because I went to get into the driver's seat here and I was like, oh, I didn't grab myself a Poacher Rovita. And the idea of going all the way back around and crawling into the van just to go to the fridge was like, nay, I had some extras in the back of Grace, which also makes me a liar from the end of last vlog when I said, I don't have any adult beverages on board. Well, I guess technically it's true. They weren't on board lucky, but in uh, Grace O'Malley, I have a bottle of peanut butter whiskey that was dropped off at my UPS mailbox by Jackie uh, that I forgot I had. So thank you, darling. I, I could have been enjoying some of that last night, but I was not. Put it on the docket for later, darling. All right, now it's finally time to get back on the road. Get the keys out of your pocket. Way easier than struggling once you're sitting. How are you going to behave this morning, Lucky? Perfect. Makes no sense. Sorry about it, Penny. You're just going to have to wait until uh, the air does its thing. Because we still haven't found our little German vacuum for the windshield. All right, come along, Grace. And we're off. You know, I was talking about the temperature and how it's going to be really hot this coming weekend. And, it's, uh, you know, it's silly how it's that hot in September. But the rest of the day, this time of year, is quite enjoyable. Like, this is probably not the most ideal outfit to be wearing right now. Shorts and a party shirt. It's a little chilly in the air. Granted, I am still in the mountains. Um, but, yeah, in the morning and even in the evening, it cools off a lot better than it does in, you know, the middle of the summer. My Garmin is knocking against the door back there and distracting me. Anyways, it's a very nice time of year, that is for darn sure. <sighs> Some people's kids! Uh, 
thank you for the hospitality, Golden. We'll see you very soon. Make sure we got Toe Hall on. This hill leaving Golden is always something else for Lucky when she's pulling Grace. And also some people might be like, wait a second, you bought breakfast. Why aren't you eating breakfast? And I just confused myself. I thought I talked about it in a previous clip, but I didn't because I was posting to Patreon to let them know what I'm doing. I am going to have breakfast. I just didn't want to do it on the side of the road. There's a nice little rest stop up here called the Kicking Horse Rest Stop. There's also washrooms there. Uh, and that'll be a nicer place to park the rig, use the facilities, and then fry up some sausages and eggs. That's my plan this morning. I don't know what that was. The town of Golden is fading into the, I was going to say rear view, Penny, but it's kind of the side view if you want to take a last peek. Or yeah, you can just enjoy the sun because it's gorgeous AF as well this morning. Ah. <sighs> Right, I forgot just how uh, <laughs> shaded this spot would be this time of day. That's okay though. Yeah, I pulled down here to this lower loop on this rest stop. It's a nice big one. Look at this. Ha! Ah. Yes! <laughs> pulled down on this lower loop. Um, this was actually right there on that picnic table over yonder on one of my, close to one of my first solo trips out to visit mom and dad with Brooklyn. We went to that picnic table with the jet boil stove and we made scrambled eggs and I got these videos of her stirring the eggs and putting some pepper on them and whatnot. And it's just, every time I come by here, that memory comes rushing back to me. <laughs> you making scrambled eggs? <laughs> Good girl. Is anything coming out? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah? And I am A-OK -okay with that. It's a nice comforting thought. She also called me this morning. I missed her phone call and she left a little voicemail saying, Hi, Dad. I love you. See you after school today, which <clears throat> I was very manly about it. OK, let's have some breakfast. We're going to need ah, stuff we haven't used in a while. We'll use Lucky's inverter this morning because we've still got about a three hour drive back to Calgary and that should be long enough to top the house batteries back up from wherever we happen to drain them down to with breakfast. So we'll get our induction cooktop plugged in here. There we go. <laughs> Gonna need something at the back just to hold that up a bit. Hmm, Penny, you wanna come lay down? I'm kidding. But you know what? 
Wait, that won't wait. Maybe this, maybe I'm gonna borrow your cat brush. Hang on. Let's see here. Oh. Hey, that should work. Look at that, you got the cat brush under there. That's leveling out the induction cooktop very well. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. There we go. Heck yeah, bud. We'll knock that down to four. Gonna come in here, turn on our lights. Into here, we've got, excellent. We've got yogurt, eggs, and our sausages. We're gonna have to get one of those reusable Ziploc bags that Andrea sent to put the rest in, because as hungry as I am, I'm not gonna be able to eat all of these sausages this morning. Fun fact about those bags, though, they are not aroma-proof, I noticed. I used one of them for um, that epoxy that I bought to repair Grace's little electrical connection. You can still smell that through the bag, even when it's sealed. So, I guess they are probably the best for freezer bags. Also, if these leak out, or I mean like if their scent leaks out, it's all right because it's just mm, maple. All right, here we go. You be a good kitty, you behave yourself. Don't be going running off into BC. <laughs> all right, so I should have some of those bags. Oh yeah, unlatch. Where'd I put them? There we go. No, wait, those ones are the ones that I'm using. Oh, there's the other ones. Perfect. Whew. All right, open up our bag. <laughs> Sausage is in. Sealed for my freshness. All right, got a little kitchen utensil stuff here gonna need what am i gonna do maybe i should just make a a sausage and egg scramble as opposed to like sausages and then frying the eggs separately and just you know work smarter not harder less dishes right so maybe we're just gonna get this to cut up the little sausages Ooh, wow this thing has seen better days this might be your last rodeo sir all right, well, decisions must be made. How are you guys doing? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so instead of like doing this and then cracking the eggs and frying them and flipping them and all that stuff, we'll just crack some eggs in, scramble it all up. Make, our, make ourselves a little sausage scramble. Sounds delicious. But while that is happening, time to get some of this yogurt into my face hole. Just had a random thought. This is that um, the honey flavored yogurt that I got in the cusp yesterday. And I've got a big thing of liquid honey in there that I was using for those feta wraps. If I can't find this, I could just buy the, the French vanilla and add some honey to it. Mm hmm. I was going to take some painkillers. I guess I should have done that first, <laughs> considering how sore my body is, but. That's all right, now we're, we're closer to, to breakfast so people don't have to get uppity about Take your pills with food! <laughs> I'll do what I want. I like to say always have, always will. I would say recently have started, always will. Ooh, okay. All right, so that is empty. So let's get our hashtag sad day last water bottle out of the fridge. Grab this guy. Hoi. Open him up. There we go. Glub, glub, glub into the Yeti. And now normally what I would do, obviously, is refill the glass bottle from our water supply with our faucet, right? But we basically ran dry yesterday and I want to clean the tank out. So 
We are not too far from field and that rest stop there, little visitor center has a water fill station. So here's my goal. We're gonna finish this liter of water before we get to field. And then we're gonna fill this back up and that back up. So we'll have two liters of water to get us through tonight and tomorrow morning. And then we can get to cleaning that sink out today. I don't know if cleaning that tank out will be something I do today, which is why I'm just kind of trying to plan myself. And when you got uh, free water on offer, carpe diem. Ooh, speaking of glass bottles that Francis has sent me, give these a quick poke. These are starting to look like you're almost ready for some eggs to join you. But before we can do that, let's come back here and grab, wait, it was, it was right here. Where is it now? Yo, what? Oh, there it is, yes. Underneath the laundry bag, my truffle oil. Why? Where do you keep yours? <sighs> That'll make a nice little addition to the scramble. Along with, where is it? Where'd I put it? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's on the, it's on the poop bucket. Why? Where do you keep yours? Garlic salt. Wait a second. Oh, I think some moisture's gotten into our garlic salt. It's not supposed to be moving around in one chunk like that. It's fine, everybody just calm down. Huh. Wait a second, now that I think of it, <laughs> I'm like, wait, truffle oil and maple sausages? I don't actually know if that will go together very well. I mean, I'm still gonna try it, cause YOLO, as the kids used to say. I don't know what they say anymore these days, drip and riz and zizzo. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? All right, so let's start segmenting our snossages. Get the insides cooking up a little faster. Oh, that maple smells so good. Separate you two, one meter rule. Thanks. There we go. Okay, so let's do this. Cricky crack. Turn this down a little bit. Oh, smells good, I don't know. All right, a little bit of truffle oil all over the snossage. Excellent. And now, get cracking. <laughs> that actually that actually smells really good. <laughs> One egg for you. Two eggs for you. We'll just go three and three. We won't be a glutton. Egg yuck all over my hands already. Shocking. There you go, bud. Oh yeah, I got to ration my paper towel as well, or I'm almost out of that. Gotta do a little shopping tonight. Apparently. Mix it all up. Heck yes, bud. Cheese would go really good with this probably too, although you don't need to put cheese in everything for sure, and I don't like to do it in my scrambled eggs all the time. Uh, doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. But if you were thinking that, yes, 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 you'd be right 50% of the time. Oh, hashtag sad day. This uh, container of garlic salt is <laughs> proving to be problematic. I've never had one. I can't even turn it to uh, open up the, the holes or the pour spout. I doubt this is going to be reason 8002 to have a Leatherman because I don't know how I could. Hello? What the? Can I do... oh, ooh. I am going to hurt myself. I wonder if I have any band-aids if that happens. This is done, man. There's no way. That hurts the abs. Oh, God. All right, well, that's enough of that. We're just going to use our, our regular salt. Which comes in a grinder. There we go. That's all you need. It ain't garlic, but it's good. Do I have pepper? I do have pepper. Where is the pepper? Nobody knows. Oh, wait, pepper. It's on the wall. All right, let's see if the pepper still opens. Does the pepper open? Pepper opens, no problem. The garlic salt has seized. There you go. Yummy.
<laughs> it's uh, it's definitely a unique combination of flavors. <laughs> I don't know that I would do truffle oil with maple sausage again. Yet my weird picky palate is kind of okay with it. Yum. Hmm. There we go, done and done. And we've got what? Three dishes to do? Not too bad. Get it soaking. Away we go. All right, beauty, we are all good to go. Nice clean dishes. You guys can come back over here. Oh, hello, Penny. Second breakfast for you, I see. This in there. Put that goes in the cupboard. The forky fork goes, well, it goes up there, but huh! Oh, I tried so hard. Gotta put the induction cooktop away first. Ugh. Use the biffy. And we are out of here. Oh, wait a second. Let's not forget. Stay on track. We'll get there. Oh, that lid was not on. There's actually a, uh, there's a water bottle fill station in the washrooms here. It doesn't look as, it's just like, you know, one of those big plastic bottles dispensing, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to still try to capitalize on the one in field just because I want water in my body and I want the maximum amount that I could have in stock, you know what I mean? So it's probably time to go, hey Penny? You need to use the Biffy? I just cleaned yours for you, so if you need to, is sparkling, well, as sparkling as wood pellets can get. Okay. Ugh.
And we did it. Well, it was like, what? Now it's empty. Oh, and I also need to stretch already. I'm just, oh God, so sore. I don't get to do what you do, which is sprawl out on the passenger seat. How about you drive us the rest of the way? Mm, right. Short. And no license, I forgot. Okay, let's gather up our bottles. Oh wait, where did I put it? I'm in the fridge. My God! Okay, one, two, let's get them a do. Or whatever. All right. We got our drinking bottle filled up, our overstock bottle filled up. Let's get this into the fridge so it gets nice and cold. And that should absolutely get us through till tomorrow, till we can get the bottle of our tank or whatever cleaned out and then get it refilled, right? Yeah. All right, T minus five minutes and we're back on the road, pretty tat, okay? Yeah, all right, good girl. All right, well, that's probably enough dilly dally in a eh, pen. Get back to Calgary. Ah, just one more massive hill. And uh, then that's it. And basically into Alberta and everything's fairly straightforward. There's one like little hill um, just before you kind of get to Calgary, but well, anyway. well, also the ring road in. I'll wait for you. <laughs> the ring road in Calgary when you're coming in this way, when you go that way, I think it's south. Uh, going up to Bow Trail, that's a hell of an incline as well. Even when I don't have the Jeep on Lucky, so I don't go that way. We go around towards the beautiful town of Bragg Creek. That's what we're gonna do now, nice and easy. It is 10.30. We are about two hours from the city, so we're gonna have lots of time to get the whole rig sort of hunkered down before going and picking up the Pirate Princess. I also just took advantage of the fact that I have data here and I was stopped. Um, I was looking at the forecast. The forecast has gotten even worse. It's become, two days has become four days of intense heat. No, not dealing with that. I, I'm not in the mood. Uh, we're too close to the end of the season. I'm too tired and grumpy. I just booked myself a hotel to coast through those days. It'll be nice too. There's a pool and stuff. Hopefully I can take Brooklyn too. And uh, that's pet friendly, so we don't have to worry about the pussy getting fried. And we're just going to wait out the storm of the bloody heat. It's part of van life, man. You don't, if you don't have to suffer, don't. Wouldn't be a problem with if, you know, because I got the air conditioner, but there's not even any place to plug in. And all of the campgrounds that have power around Calgary are fully booked. So, hashtag sad day. I still very rarely stop here, but it was good timing. This stupid mosquito just came fluttering along the windshield. I gave it a smack with the back of my hand and it's on my fingers and the window. And the yucky part is I don't have a fresh bite. So hashtag not my blood. Ooh, where did you come from? And I couldn't reach the baby wipes without pulling over. So here we are. Mosquito murder at the border. Yuck.
All right, back in Calgary, just finding a spot here to, to park the whole darn rig for a while. And I got a couple hours, so I gotta go pick up my little girl. So I think I'm probably just gonna crawl in the back and have a nap, honestly. The drive wasn't too bad, obviously. It was nice and short, which is exactly what I wanted for today. Ooh, transmission's feeling a little gummy again after all those hills. Uh, but I'm still very sore. I actually moved the TENS machine down onto my arm. Uh, it's, it's dead, I've been using it so much. And these pads, these like aftermarket pads that I get off Amazon, in fact, they're only good for like two or three uses and the tackiness just, bye bye doesn't exist. So I gotta charge that up. Then I uh, am gonna go have the evening with my little girl. Haven't seen her in far too long. And we'll wrap this sucker up later this evening when I get back. Got a few packages from the UPS store. We'll probably open those up tomorrow. Uh, I'm more excited about this. I'm not excited, but like a new new credit card from my bank because I was sitting at the playground with Brooklyn like, I don't know, a week ago or so, and I get this alert saying, oh yeah, your uh, withdrawal from this ATM in New York was successful. I don't like the world we live in sometimes. So anyways, very quick phone call later and uh, we got that all sorted out. So I got a new card. Which means it's gonna be a new number. Yep. Stop stealing my shit! <laughs> All right, I'm off to get the Fire Princess and have some dinner. All right, we got the big fat putty tat having her dinner. We just got the Irish Pirate Queen hooked back up to her big sister. And while I was at my cousin's, I also loaded up. Whoop! Dropping t-shirts. My old set power fridge. I got it plugged in right now, making sure it's all systems go. I'm hoping to meet up with Ian tomorrow. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss the next video. And also I came back here because we wanna make sure we have, hello, ha, this. So yes, I got some packages. We'll save those for tomorrow's video or the next video, depending on when I choose to release it, of course. For now, lock this up, head back to the good ship Lucky, and get our butts to Hotel Walmart. You know it, baby. <laughs> Hold that for me, will you, Penny? All right. Hotel Walmart, we have returned. Kill the music, kill the band, kill it all. <laughs> And we are gonna have to sacrifice some of our water supply, our valuable, valuable water that we got in field, because we gotta make some ice for that whiskey. Fill that up a little bit. Get the ice maker fired up. Excellent, ooh, 18 minutes, that's not long at all. We're gonna run into Hotel Walmart. While we do that, we're gonna soak Penny's dish with vinegar and clean that up when we get back. But we have nothing to clean it with, do we? Paper towel and more vinegar. And probably a quick potty break on the final Walmart walk of this evening. Are you kidding me? 
Ah, well, shoot. I thought they'd have um, the bigger jugs, like the big, almost four liter ones. I figured that'd be the best to clean that thing out, but I'm sure an entire one of the little ones will more than suffice. Although now I'm kicking myself in the pants because I'm, I'm now realizing I should have gotten a four liter bottle of distilled water to help rinse it out. Cause I'm going, I'm not gonna want to just have it just be vinegar in there. That all sounds like a future Matthew problem for tomorrow. Not gonna worry about it right now. Right now we're gonna clean out a little kitty cat's bowl and pour ourselves whiskey with some ice that will be ready in one minute, according to the timer. That's right in the shot. Yuck. Wet food is la nasty. Oh, sounds like my ice is done. That was good timing. Where is... All right, go kitty cat, nice clean bowl. Let's get, oh sure, let's use one of our Flathead Lake Brewery cups that we got while we were in Montana. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, ice cubes, all right. This bad boy up here. Hi -ya. Vinegar in the way. Perfect. Let's grab. Hoi. Ooh, screwball peanut butter whiskey. <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. I cannot open it with one hand, especially not my left hand. Can I open it with one hand with my right hand? No. Can I do this? Uh huh. Ech. Don't spill it though. My goodness. All right, come here, you. This <laughs> smells like peanut butter. My goodness. Don't take any offense, sticker in the background. Every once in a while, I gotta change it up. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me. Uh, also, with the sink tomorrow, let's plug it in so that the faucet is fully charged. I think that little thing is in here. Hello? Here you are. Oh, you're not, calm down. You're one of those. I thought you were a proper, okay, let me take your hose off. Bring you down here. Thought it was a regular USB-C port. It is not. We'll unplug the TENS machine. I'm probably gonna need you very soon. We will plug him in. He's been working overtime compared to what he was, does normally ever since I started using the water bottle like the Dometic as my main water storage, which I still don't know why I wasn't doing that from the start. All right. Peanut butter whiskey. Bone apple tits. And here I was afraid I'd have to mix it with something. You really truly don't. You better like peanut butter though. Mmm. Oh, that is tasty AF. Probably means it's trouble. Well, I better leave this one here <laughs> and I will say thank you very much for watching and until the next one where it's going to be some quality content, quality content with me cleaning out my water jug, hopefully handing off a fridge and maybe even letting off a refreshing stink bomb. That doesn't make much sense. Anyway, until then, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. But remember, you can't make everybody happy. You're not tacos.